Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. Reba here. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I came out here this morning because I was doing a little bit of stuff with my figs and I spotted that the rows had begun to open up here. Now this is on my um, Heritage Rose. It's a tea rose that I bought. I think I got it over at um, Home Depot when um, they came out with all the bare root plants and flowers and that sort of thing anyways I was uh, noticing that this looked like it was um, it's a different leaf pattern up at the top here and this is a vigorous growth that came from the bottom of the rootstock section of the plant now I had no idea that they even did rootstocks with roses or anything like that but I put two and two together when I saw this baby come up at the top because tea roses have the individual um, stems for their roses on. So like over here, you see this long stem coming up right here on this one. It's a big old long, long stem. And anyways, that is also a different shape leaf than right there too. So I don't know if some of this is rootstock growth or if it's the actual rose bush or what but I was thinking rootstock because I mean look at this color of the leaf on this one is different than the list leaf here way different just completely different shade completely different um, tones to it this one doesn't have any um, red edging on the leaf um, this one does and it's just overall just looks different anyways so I'm noticing that the flower was opening up and I was thinking it was gonna be red ish or maybe an in the pink tones because of um, the color on here I've noticed that it looks darker as a bud and as it opens it turns a lighter shade so yeah this it's a really pretty 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 pink and um, I bent down and I smelt it oh my gosh I wish you guys could smell it I'm gonna smell it oh my gosh I don't know if you could see me smelling it but this is amazing I just love the scent of this rose absolutely like quintessential rose scent it is man is so good and then down here around I have to come around for this one and hopefully I can get it before my battery dies on my phone this is what most of the roses have been looking like more of a pink lavender color and the it's got a complete different look to the way it's opening as well and it also has a different um, fragrance I'm gonna get some of these dying leaves off anyways it's got a little bit different smell but it smells good too and it's a little bit low for me to do the smell the smell taste test you can't really taste it well you could eat roses but you know the smell test I guess you know everybody's doing all the taste tests and everything like that <laughs> anyways the smell test um, the smell is different um, it's kind of hard to do holding the phone because then I'd be showing you my strawberries let's just show you my strawberries while I do it gotta move my hair out of the way oh that one smells good too but not as strong as this one here and you can see how this is rosette in the center and how it's opening up versus this one. So I'm guessing this one is the heirloom and this one down here coming up is the, um, from the rootstock. Because most of the leaves look like this other leaf structure down on the bottom and this one came up from the very base and came up and it's blossomed out. I have all these little um, blossom heads all over this whole top section. So I am just stoked, you guys, I love it. So I'm very, very pleased with that surprise. And it looks like we're gonna be getting an opening on this one. I think this one is Perfumed Delight in this one. Got to move the sign, yep, Perfumed Delight. So this will be my first one of the season for this one coming on soon. I've already had a couple of this one here, but it's kind of like, it looks more pink in the viewfinder, but it's more like um, a pink, lilac so it's kind of get purpley tones to it so it's absolutely just just beautiful uh, if i get closer you can kind of see and as it matures it becomes more of a a very light lavender lilac color but i'm very very happy with this i love the colors in this one 
It's a little bit darker, of course, well, quite a bit darker, but it's got the pink tones. It's like magenta and um, lighter tones of pink. It's really light inside. I see some lavender in there as well. Uh, life of an art major. Oh man, so everything's looking really good. I do need to add a little bit of soil to here because I put those bubble berries in under my um, Rainier cherry tree. So I need to do that. And um, everything's looking good over in this section. I've been harvesting little itty bitty baby carrots and everything, so that's been good. And all the figs are doing really good, and I will do an update soon on the figs. I am seeing babies popping up on even some of the newly rooted cuttings, you guys. So stay tuned for that next video, and I will take you in and show you which ones are starting to set fruit. All right, love you guys. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Click that bell button. As always, you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And um, grow what you love and love what you grow. Or love what you grow and grow what you love. Either way it works. And have a wonderful day. And God bless. Bye.